Um, <clears throat> what I'd like to do is show you in this video is how to find the x and y intercepts with this equation. So the first thing we need to do is remember what are the x and y intercepts of the equation. Well, remember the x-intercept is where a graph crosses the x-axis, all right, where it intercepts that x-axis. And the y-intercept is where a graph crosses or intercepts the y-axis. All right. So the important thing to notice is, remember, if you remember the x axis, it's kind of like a number line of x values, right? So therefore, on the x-intercept, and let's just go back here, then we look at the y-axis, it's the same thing. It's also like a number line, but it's like a number line that's kind of vertical, okay? And what you'll notice is, on the y-intercept, my x value is not left or right. So I did not move at all on this x-axis for my y-intercept. Therefore, therefore, the y-intercept is what we call 0, comma y. Remember, every coordinate point has an x and a y-coordinate. For instance, this point here is 1, 2, 3, which moves over 3 units on the x and up 2 on the y. So this coordinate point is 3, comma y, where 3, x, y. Well, for the y-intercept, x is equal to 0, and y has a value, which here is 2. So this one would be actually 0, negative 2. And over here, my x-intercept is negative 2, 0, or what we call x, comma, 0. So the important thing to understand is when I want to find my x-intercept and I want to find my y-intercept, I'm going to follow a very specific kind of trait to do. x-intercept, my y is always equal to 0. So therefore, I'm going to plug a 0 into the equation. So 4x minus 3 times 0 equals 24. Then for my y-intercept, I understand that x is always equal to 0. So I'm going to plug a 0 in for my x. Okay? So then from here, all I really need to do is now I need to solve each equation. Well, 3 times 0 is obviously 0, so I have 4x equals 24. Here, 4 times 0 is 0. I have negative 3y equals 24. So then, the last thing I need to do is just need to solve both of these. I divide by 4, divide by negative 3. Therefore, what I obtain is x equals 6. And here, uh, y equals a negative 8. Therefore, now, if I want to write them back in coordinate form, I could say x equals 6 comma 0 is the coordinate, and y is 0 comma negative 8. And if I wanted to graph this, negative 8 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And x equals 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And you just connect the two points. And there you go.